Hi and welcome to another tip. In this tip we're going to look at a setting for lights in Cinema 4D called uh, clipping. There are two settings, near clip and far clip, and I'm just going to show you an example of how I've used this in the past. Now before I start, I just want to say that there are other ways to work around this example that I'm going to show. I'm really only showing this example because it's the only simple way that I could come up with to describe what the feature does. So I'm not trying to say this is the best way to solve this problem. I'm just trying to say that this feature can be used to solve this problem. So let's jump right in. I've got a scene here with a light, a cube, and sort of a light fixture up here with a bulb inside of it. So in the practical example, this could be a translucent light shade, and maybe we want this light to be coming from inside of it. So the first thing we would do is place this light inside. So I would just go from my side view and my front view, and just make sure that the light is placed inside of the bulb, because that's where we want our light to come from. And then I can adjust the fall off to see it illuminate everything. And if I render, we see that we get our scene being lit up, but the immediate problem that I encounter is uh, there's no shadow. So we're seeing some light leakage here, and it just looks really unrealistic. So what we can do is add a shadow. Let's use a soft shadow. And when we render, well, everything's black all of a sudden. And we just have this one spot here from some, maybe from a hole in the geometry. and the reason for that is because the actual geometry is blocking our light from coming out. Now one of the ways we can get around that is with the clipping option, but this only works if it's a spotlight, at least in my experiments. So I'm going to change it to a spotlight, rotate it into place, and then sort of widen the beam so that it fits our light shade. If I render again, it should look, oh, turning shadows off. I render again, now that we've made it a spotlight, it should look pretty much the same as it did before, but this time it has a spotlight profile. Now, we can turn the shadow back on, and we see that problem still, where the light bulb is casting a shadow. What we can do is go to the Details tab and turn on Near Clipping. Now you'll get an extra widget on your light here that allows you to drag this clipping plane out. Now another important thing to remember is that there's near, near clipping goes from and to, which basically means that this blue line I'm dragging is only one of the parameters. We'll actually need to extend both parameters as you see here in order to take advantage of it. So I'm just going to move things around so that, so that they fit well and we have our near clipping right here, the start and the end of it. What we can do is we can render again, we see that the problem is still there. That's because there's one more option we need to enable, and that's in the shadow tab, we need to check the box that says clipping influence. If we render one more time, we'll see that this time we have our shadow, look down here by the cube to see it, and the light is influencing properly. Now, in my experience, situations like this come up pretty rarely, but I just thought it would be a cool way to show how this clipping feature works. If I were to shove the clipping plane back inside of the light bulb like this, we should see the shadow obscure the entire scene again. So while this is a really strange example, I hope that it gives you a good idea of how this feature can be used. And in a real scene, your lighting setup is probably going to be a little bit more compli complex than this. So I hope you enjoyed that tip. I know it's kind of a weird one, but I wanted to get it out there. And until next time, see ya.